Alright, folks, we back. <laughs> we got some more Fire Emblem Heroes, and we have the Baby Banner of the Year. Pretty obvious to everyone who those silhouettes are, but let's go ahead and run this trailer and see what's up. I'm predicting Awakening, just like everybody else. Question is, who's going to be on the banner, though? Let's see. Okay, so we're starting things off with Baby Robin, Faded Vessel. Okay, I did think that Robin was going to be one of the choices, because you think about, like, all of the popular shepherds, and there's not really too many popular shepherds besides Crom, Robin, Alyssa, Frederick, like, the main four, pretty much. Okay, so we got a Red Tome infantry type from this guy. All right, so Baby Robin, let's see what his skills are. Oh, we have his stats as well. He's in Aether Raids for some reason. So we got 40 HP. He's taking stat drops from somewhere. Actually, I actually have no idea where he's getting debuff from. I think not has Menace. It could be from there. Like Menace attack and speed. So let's just say minus 6. So he's got 64 attack. He's got 52 speed. Uh, Unless his weapon's giving him like plus 3 speed or something. Uh... There's no way this kid has 52 speed. All right, then we got 36 defense, and then we have also 16 res. Okay, Fell War Tome. Yeah, that, that's what I thought. Yeah, Grant speed up three. There's no way he had 52 base speed. Okay, 14 might, two range. If unit initiates combat or is in two spaces of an ally, deals seven damage to foe as combat begins. Activates only when unit can attack in combat. Effective or effects that reduce damage during combat don't apply. Wait, why am I reading this? This is just Flared Sparrow. Okay, he has Flared Sparrow. Grants all stats of X to unit, where X is 16 minus the foe's max special cooldown count value times 2 with a minimum of 8. Okay. If foe does not have a special skill, then X is automatically 8. Reduces damage from foe's first attack by 30%, and that includes Brave Hits. And neutralizes effects that inflict guard on unit during combat. And also, if unit's max special cooldown count value is over 3 or equal to 3. And unit's attack can trigger unit special. When unit special triggers, excluding AoEs, neutralizes damage reduction effects from non-special skills. Basically, he's just a tome version of Legendary Robin is what it looks like. Or not Legendary, Brave Robin. Oh, was his C skill the same thing that Brave Robin had? The one that gives you Rally Spectrum? Because they're building up him up like he's going to have, like, Bonfire and Ignis and stuff. He has to have a three-hit special. Okay, so we got Ignis here. We've got Flash Sparrow. Oh, we have Magic Gambit now. Interesting. Magic Gambit 4. We don't even have Gambit 3 yet. And we're already introducing another split Gambit 4. If unit initiates combat or foe's range is 2, inflicts speed and res minus 4 on the foe during combat, and also if units or foes attack can trigger unit special, deals damage equal to plus X, where X is units max special cooldown count value minus 2 times 4 for a max of 12 and a min of 0, excluding AoEs, and reduce damage from attacks in combat and AoEs by percentage equal to units max special cooldown count value minus 1 times 10 with a max of 40. This is just not as good as Gambit 4. I mean, it's just like a weaker game. Why would you run this? I'm, Dude, tome units can run Lagoo's friend, right? Like, infantry tomes have access to that. Why in the hell would you not run that over this? Oh, my God. All right, and then tips the, tip the scales. So he did have Brave Robin's C skill, which is good because Rally Spectrum is good. I am so stunned. They released a, a split Gambit 4, and it's just a automatically power crept already by Lagoo's friend. The only thing is that, like, maybe Gambit 4 magic is on all tomes, and it's not, like, weapon locked. Oh, these are his stats, by the way. So he wasn't at minus 6. He's, he's at 60 attack and 48 speed. Oh, that means 45 base speed? He's kind of slow then. Ugh. Oh, Baby Emerin. Oh, okay. It actually was Baby Emerin. <laughs> this is not the silhouette, but, like, people said that Emerin would be on the banner. I'm not sure. Like, what is the appeal to a Baby Emerin? 
We didn't even get enough screen time with adult Emerin. So, like, why baby Emerin? <laughs> okay, 40 HP. She's got attack in Rezo 4, it looks like. So, she's at plus 6 to both of these. So, 61 attack, 25 speed, 23 defense, and then 47 res. Goddamn, that is a lot of res. 47. Okay, I didn't even see what happened. <laughs> Oh, she used... She has an interesting assist here. Magic Shield Plus, huh? What does that even do? Wait, what the hell is going on? How did Krom warp like a... What? What is happening here? Okay, Exalt's War Staff, 14 Might, 2 Range, Foe Can't Counterattack, Built-in Dazzling Staff, essentially. Minus 1 Special Trigger, and Cooldown Can't Be Reduced Below 1. Okay, if unit's HP is less than or equal to 60%, or if unit has entered combat or used an assist skill during the current turn, allies can move to a space within two spaces of unit. Well, that's pretty bananas. She can just turn herself into a Wings of Four... Wings of Mercy Four beacon. <laughs> Essentially. Yeah, that's pretty good. Now, thank God, Warp Bubble is a legitimate thing right now, because otherwise that would just be not fun. Alright, also grants all stats of 4 to allies in 3 spaces of unit during their combat, and recovers 7 HP to those allies after their combat. Okay, passive he or out of combat healing is pretty helpful right now, so that's good. If unit is in 3 spaces of an ally, grants attack and res up 6 to unit. Unit makes a guaranteed follow-up and deals damage equal to 20% of unit's res, so they gave her a little bit of damage dealing potential, which is fine. Not quite enough, but a decent enough amount for, like, probably killing, like, some random offensive unit. Alright, Magic Shield Plus. What is this? Recovers 50% of unit's attack with a minimum of 8 HP to target ally and grants the following effects to target ally for one turn. Attack and res up 6, and neutralizes penalties on unit during combat. Okay, that's pretty good. If used on turn 2 and onwards, also grants another action to unit... Ooh. And inflicts gravity on unit... Oh, oh come on. Gravity? They almost... They were almost there. They almost cooked. Almost. But then they had to put gravity there. Like, what's the point? Like, just let her move the full amount of space. Why not? Why did they try to balance her? Like, what? Is it just me, or they have, like, needless balancing on her? <laughs> when the game is already broken, like, who cares? Effects that can trigger on turn two will not trigger again for two turns after triggering. Using this skill has no effect on special cooldown charge and doesn't gain ex experience or SP. Which is really annoying when you're training up staff units, but, I mean, it is what it is. I think this is inheritable too, right? This has the plus sign, so this is inheritable. I wonder what the, like, prerequisite of this is going to be. Magic Shield Plus, huh? I mean, this is an absolute buff, buff to staff units, because they can just use their assists to heal and then move again, and they're nullifying penalties. So, like, th this is going to be legit on staff units. If it's inheritable, that is. I think it is. Alright, and then Lights Restraint, Poetic Justice, Attack Res Oath 4. Alright, all that is whatever. Alright, there's the attack animation for her. Okay, Baby Lissa, Littlest Princess, okay. <laughs> so, Baby Boo Boo. Right, she really is... Wow, her face is so circular. <laughs> she looks like a ball head. Look at her head. It's like <laughs> perfectly rounded. Oh my god. Alright, Lissa. So, axe infantry type. Okay. That axe is like way too big for her, by the way. How is she holding that axe? Oh, is she the demote, by the way? I think she is the demote, right? She's the third unit on the banner. So, new war axe. A demote with a perf weapon is nice. So, 16 might, 1 range, minus 1 special trigger. If unit is in 3 spaces of an ally, grants bonus to unit's attack, defense, and res, equal to 25% of foe's attack at the start of combat, minus 4, with a max of 14 and a min of 5. 
Okay, that's pretty good. Neutralizes effects that grant special cooldown charge plus X or inflict guard on units, so built-in tempo. Reduces the effects of deep wounds by 50%, okay. And reduce damage from foes' follow-up attacks by 80% during combat. And that includes brave attacks, as we know. And also, if units' HP is over 70%, deals damage equal to X percent of units defense when units attack triggers unit special otherwise recovers HP equal to X of units defense to unit when units attack triggers unit special okay all right X is units max special cooldown count value times 10 plus 10 excluding AoEs I mean she seems okay for a demote what is she exit she's infantry type yeah, Axe Infantry, I mean, that's that's not bad. If you wanted to merge her up for some reason, I guess, like, you could plus 10 her. And then she's got Bonfire, Death Res Finish, and then Times Pulse. Which is solid demote fodder, that's really nice. Times Pulse especially. Yeah, this, she's not bad, she's okay. But you gotta spend orbs to get her to plus 10, that's the problem. Even though she is a demote. It doesn't really do us much good. This is the type of demote that needs to be on a regular banner right at this point. Like, we can't have demotes like this on seasonal banners, man. Oh, what is this? We got Robin again? There's two Robins on this banner. <laughs> Why? So we have male Robin and female Robin. They couldn't just add, like, somebody else. They had to... It could have been, like, Cordelia. Like, Cordelia finally wins. She gets to go on a date with, um, Krom. Oh, wait, Robin is the main unit. It's not even Krom as the main unit. It's Robin. Really? Okay, Blue Tome Infantry Robin. That is the last thing I expected. Okay, so we got 40 HP, 59 attack, 46 speed, 30 defense, and then 22 res. And then she's got a whole bunch of dragon skills because <laughs> this, this isn't baby Robin. This is baby Grima. Wow, that is a wall of text. <laughs> Draconic Pacts. 14 might, 2 range, minus 1 special trigger. If a rally or movement assist is used like reposition, shove, whatever, grant special cooldown count minus 1 to unit and inflicts hush spectrum. On foes in three rows or three columns center on unit after units movement through the next action. Oh, that sucks. They put it on. They put the re, the ch change fate effect on the weapon instead of putting it on the assist. So she doesn't have a 500 SP assist. That would have made her the highest scoring unit in the game. Okay, they had some mercy on the whales at least for the ones that chase score creep, I guess. Alright, this is a strong assist, though. It's basically duo Krom's assist. Except you're getting Hush Spectrum and then minus one again. Okay, if unit initiates combat or is in two spaces of an ally, inflicts all stats minus X on the foe. Where X is 16 minus foe's max special cooldown count value times two with a min of eight. If foe is not equipped with a special, it's automatically eight. Reduce damage from foe's first attack by 30%, and that includes brave attacks. And then nullifies guard. Okay, Hush Spectrum inflicts all stats minus 5 on unit during combat. If unit's attack can trigger unit's special, inflicts special cooldown count plus 1 on unit before unit's first attack during combat. Oh. Oh. This is literally reverse rally spectrum. Instead of having it as an active bonus, it's a penalty. This is literally reverse rally spectrum. If unit's max special cooldown count is reduced, and if foe's attack can trigger foe's special, then grant special cooldown count minus one to foe before unit's first attack during combat. Okay, so you're getting rally spectrum and scowl, I think is how this works. Then it's a permanent all stats minus five on the foe, and then she repos, and then she gets... Minus one cooldown count. Uh, I'm just worried that her weapon... Like, the support is really good here. I'm just worried that her weapon is not 
giving her enough damage, though. Hold on, let's see. Okay, we have Flare as the special, which is nice to see. Okay, Fell Worm Scale. At the start of combat, if unit's HP is over 25%, grants all stats of 8 to unit. Neutralizes foe's bonuses. And unit deals damage equal to 15% of unit's attack during combat. And also when special triggers, neutralizes foe's damage reduction effects from non-special skills. And then after combat, if your HP is over 25%, you recover 7 HP. Okay, this is where all her damage was then. Grants all stats up 8 at the start of combat. Okay. Alright, attack and speed link 4. Oh, level 4 link skills. If a movement assist like reposition, shove, pivot is used by unit or targets unit, grants attack and speed up 6 in Kanto 1 to unit and target ally or unit and targeting ally for one turn. Inflicts speed minus 4 and defense and res minus 2 on the foe. And unit deals plus X damage during combat, where X is the highest total attack and speed bonuses among unit and allies with Kanto 1. Oh, that's pretty good. Actually, yeah, that's pretty good. So you pop this. Well, it's only going to be good on units that can reposition and then move again. So like Krom units and this unit here. So you reposition, you get Kanto 1, you're getting bonuses. And then when you attack the enemy, you have like half of treachery. But it's also better treachery, because it applies to your allies in two spaces also. Hmm. Okay, that's a nice B-skill there. Oh, and then we, their duo skill, too. We haven't seen that. Alright, what is their duo skill going to do, I wonder? All right, just show the duo skill already. Come on. Okay, duo skill grants rally spectrum and dual strike to unit and allies in seven rows. And s seven by seven? God damn. <laughs> wow. Yeah, wow. Now, dual strike is going to be very hard. I, I would have preferred it be treachery than dual strike, to be honest. Like, had that been treachery, this would have been bananas. Absolutely bananas. Dual strike right now is like, whatever. Man, the ra you're getting Rally Spectrum with Hush Spectrum with the reposition, and then she gives herself, like, kind of treachery. Yeah, th this unit seems pretty good. This is interesting. Okay. Huh. Well, that's something else. Again, I'm not sure, like, how impactful the treachery is going to be because, like, <laughs> brave attacking right now is, like, whatever. Who cares? You're certainly not going to be adjacent, by the way, to be able to pull that off. At least not in SD. All right, so that, I guess that wraps us up for the banner. And then Frederick, who I expected was the other silhouette, is there. He's going to be our Tempest Trial prize. He's going to be an axe cavalry type. Hopefully, he has a perf axe. I mean, come on. They gave Baby Lissa a perf weapon. They got to give this guy a perf axe. Like, don't do us dirty and give us a, a demote with a non-perf weapon again. All right, banner drops in... What is that, two days from now, I guess? Or, like, two resets from now? Yeah, I think if you want to summon, I, there's definitely value here. Emerin's assist seems pretty good. And then this Baby Robin, the duo one, seems pretty good. The other two, like, I mean, if you like Lissa, maybe. And then this Robin is... Honestly, he seems kind of undertuned. This male Robin here, the red one. Is he, he's just like a... A tome version of the Brave Robin, but he's got a worse B skill. When you could just be giving him Lagoo's friend, right? Like, I don't know. I, I don't know, man. So I guess that's going to wrap us up for this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. What do you think of the new duo hero? And this is your boy Tacho signing out, guys. So take care, and I'll catch y'all again on the flip side.